Did man so think in mists of time that death would come in the form of air? Vermin to be eradicated by a plague so foul. Amazing. Right, I have to find some um, some wood for a fire. Need a nice little uh, space somewhere. Have a look up here. He wandered wistfully into the wilderness, brimming with hope and loss. Loss for his loved ones and hope for a doomed town. The woods will be his sanctuary. Nature will be his saviour. I can't even remember what sort of food I put in this rucksack. I bet I ain't got a bloody tin opener, I know that. There's four tins of soup, two beans, and a couple of sorin cakes. Just grabbed what I could when I could. Everyone's so annoyed back at the house. Whoa. Whoa. I started thinking, I wonder how long I'm actually going to be up here. Maybe I'm going to be able to wash. Maybe tomorrow will be better. I'll be a bit warmer. I hope it's not too long. I've only got supplies for a few days. I'm going to start having to eat bloody rabbits or something. Hedgehogs. He was begged not to go there, but he could sense the impending doom. Hearts heavy with burden. They should have listened. Heed his warnings. The miasma cometh. The miasma is near. Master, master. I couldn't fly any faster. Someone is entering our domain. Mm, what's that on the horizon? Ah, yes. A new place to engulf. First, I shall install fear. Kill the wildlife, kill their livestock, their livelihoods. Then, then I will inflict them all. The stench of the thing is so easy to find. What harm can I do to this thing passing through? I'll find it and friend it, then back out its eyes. of his loved ones. Are they doing okay? Will they survive the hardship or become this pestilence prey? sort of animals are in here. Better not meet anything big. Rabbits and badgers. Saying that, badgers can be pretty aggressive. Hope I don't disturb a stag or something. Oh, can't see nothing. Where's my torch? What's this stream? Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm never going to get across here. Oh. The harsh land was rugged, 
empty, perfect. Survival hour here could mean life after death. Respect her and nature will provide. <sighs> Gonna have to find somewhere to camp soon. It's getting late. It's getting cold. Oof. What would bear do? There's no elephants in these woods. A formless figure perhaps, or something even more sinister. What was that? Hello? The first thing he noticed was a stench as old as death. The next, a crow as black as space. I was feasting on innards, when in through the gloom, what a shadowy form that stunk of life. Oblivious to the smell, his feathers glistened in the moonlight, stricken red with carrion and blood. Ah, ah! Yes, that's right. Follow me through the trees. I know of a beautiful sight. Macabre, as well as beautiful, he feasted on the gifted flesh. A couple of bites, and then you'll be all right. It does me no harm. Up here in Death's Farm! And could it be that two strangers meet with promise of redemption? The old the wise, the timeless song brings hope to one so young. <sighs> Damn this CB. Batteries are going. Seems to be picking the police up or something. A figure appears in the ember glow, draped in rags and forlorn robes. Devil or angel, friend or foe. Subanar, it seems, is a gift from the gods. Hello, Eric. What brings you up here so late at night? Subanar, he scared me. I'm trying to get this bloody CB working. Picking up local police, but I can't quite make out what they're saying. I thought you leave and wander blind. Too many fools have dared to enter here. Yeah, yeah, you've told me before. You're going to come sit by the fire anyway. Let's go and get some more logs soon. Do you want a cup of tea? What do you think's happening down there then? The houses, the roads, the ponds, the trees. Since time before time, I've watched this place, knowing this night would come. What night? I earned my wings before you were born. I could fly before you could run. <laughs> what night are you talking about, Subanar? Is something bad going to happen? What's happening down in the town? It's freaky enough up here. It's difficult to know where to be, really, isn't it? I keep hearing things, like kids' voices, and like singing. It's so strange. Like something trying to talk to me or warn me. It's a really weird feeling. Do you truly believe you have the necessary character to reside here, in this wood? 
No, probably not. But after I left home, I didn't really know where to go, Subana. So I came up here. But I kind of wish I was at home. The light from the fire surely will reveal your truth. Visions, swirling, arcane visions, voices, ancient, cryptic voices. Decipher the message or remain in limbo. The tears of the trees fall on hallowed ground. The sorrow of the broken woods can be heard as a lonely sound. something bright. He thinks he's safe by the warmth of the fire. soundly. The haunting melody still echoes through his dreams. Will his soul awaken altered? Has the message taken refuge in the forest of his unconscious mind? What does it all mean? Where will the journey take him? And can he survive another day?
unprecedented. A phrase etched into the soul of man. A labyrinth of golden choice. Unprecedented. The great leveler. Where men become beasts. Devouring all hope. Compassion. Love. Thank <laughs> you. 
We need all civilians out the buildings now. Get your hands away from my person. Get your wretched hands off my arm. You fight with guns, I fight with words. <coughs> words? Words? <coughs> oh, not, not that effective. Don't touch that. It could be infected. We must leave immediately. You claim there's beauty in life. I claim there's beauty in death. Beauty in destruction. Now, this is for your own safety. What are you doing? Get out of here. Don't I clean your lungs? Don't press me, man. Don't <laughs> There's no point in running. Save your energy for when you're dying. I cry for death. It is my sustenance. Get in the truck now, this is for your own safety. In times of great crisis, power and control reside. Power and control. Power. 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 Control. Control! Control! Where are we going? What's happening? This is madness. This can't be real. No, no. You have no right to take us from our homes like this. We can't just leave. Who will look after the dog? Come on. Dog's got to come with us. Everyone, come on. Together. Together. Objects waiting to multiply on your skin. I colonize inside of you. Transmitted. Mark for death. Only to inflict the ones you are dead. Get out of there. Sanctuary of the Woods, Subinar offers Eric some sage advice. We're certainly going to miss the music, I know that. All the gigs and concerts have been cancelled over the last couple of weeks. What are people going to do? Stay in their bloody houses? I think the idea of being shoulder to shoulder with somebody at a concert now is gone far removed from people's ideologies. It's such a shame, really. Eric, tell me, is it for your own needs you find yourself here? Or is your story a little more complicated? No! 
Dad was arguing, Mum was arguing, everybody was shouting. I just had to leave. I tried to tell them what was happening, but they just wouldn't listen, so I had to flee. They stayed at the house. Subinar, do, do you think you'll ever leave? I have scattered many fragments of my spirit in these woods. I could not withdraw from them that burden or pain. You, you must have a mother, though, or a family somewhere, though, don't you, Subinar? My ancient mother, riders of tides, sailed in my undreamable dreams. A dark stain circles above, cowering in the shade of the trees, listening, watching from the shadows, ready to deliver the carcass of man. Be cautious. We are not blind to what we see. The strange light on the horizon. I know, I've seen it. The low drone of the killing machines. And the sirens call. What now awaits in this place? Master! Master! We have a disaster! Souvenir! Eric! Standing is one! You wish to return? Yes. I've got to go back. I've got to go and find out if everybody's okay or not. Are you certain this is where you would choose to be? Only the hand of life can contain your heart. I know, I know. But I need to go back. I need to find out if everybody's okay. And I'm going to leave tonight. The wise one speaks of undreamable dreams. Young one, he's listening. We must act now. Fate conspires in strange ways. Light will overcome darkness. Always. Time is all we need. Time is all we have left. I don't think there's going to be. Oh, it looked like there's chaos going on down there. I'm oh, my dad all right. Questions. Unanswered questions. A searing pain. An eternal itch. Eric must return to the town. Oh, yeah, so thick. Oh, oh, fog. What is this? It's like something's engulfed the village. Asthma 
is winning. Now, uh, Raccoon Lane, here we are. Number 19. Oh my goodness me. It's like a bomb's out here. Where's my parents? The door's open. You're a disgraced to mother. What do you not understand, Mum? If you don't come with us, everybody's going to perish. I still can't believe you've done this to me. That's it, we're through. Look what you've done to your mother again. Get out of my house and never come back. Dad. Oh, God. You know this can't be unpunished. You know it can't be undone. Come with me, then. You think you're so tough. You're nothing but a mouse to me. This thing that you've done means you can't remain. When I was your age, I was locked in at night. Tea time at five, lights out by eight. But you had to sneak out and belittle our name. You just can't do those things. Don't Life isn't things. a game. And don't forget the soap. We're ready packed, Mum. I'm ready to go. OK, time's up. The sand has run out. Just gather your things and head for the door. We're serious this time. You've used all your lives. No respawn, no health bills, no teammate revives. So do you hear that, Eric? Now get out of our house. If you don't leave this home, the police will be called. You've committed a crime so highly wrong. You leave us no choice but to sever the ties that have kept us together amongst all the lies. The only crime that's been committed is nobody's listened to me. Because of your actions, I now lost my son. Oh, Mum, you know that's not true. Right, I'm off. Eric, it's time you were gone. Is there anybody out here? you're still here? Down. Where have you come from? Down. I think everybody's been evacuated. The whole town's gone. Wiped out. What's that? Disappeared. 
I don't know, mate, but you need to get out of here. We're the only ones left. Seriously. Get me to a car. Oh, he's coming over now. Great. I've got to get out of here. Is there any cars open? There's cars everywhere. It's got me one with keys in it. Now, stay over there, yeah? What's that? No, mate, no. All right, no worries. See ya. What's this, what's this, what's this? Please be open, please be open. Oh, oh the keys are in. It's coming over, oh my God. Oh, go on, go on. Have to survive. Oh. Go, 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 go. streets, blind from the deafening silence, searching for redemption, seeking anyone or anything. Countless souls shout death, death. We come face to face with death. The guilt of our ancestors passed down. Take your soul! Several days have passed since Eric returned to the town. The pathogen now in full bloom, consuming all in its path. Death and destruction reign upon the town. Eric is fighting a losing battle. Untether the shackles from his brain. Can he hold out until spring or will he go insane? Has he lost all control? Will he surrender? <laughs> Somebody help him! Somebody help yes, him! Somebody help yes, him! The miasma has yes, taken McCormick. control! Miasma coming! Miasma coming! I am Miasma, best of the best of the beast given a mouth to utter proud words of blasphemy and to exercise my authority. Miasma coming! Miasma coming! Stop it, 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 stop it
saw the devil in a dream last night. He was smiling. 